Helping Parents Explain Math. Word Problems from Second Grade. Suppose you're given the problem David has 45 marbles. The sister gave him 32 more. How many marbles does he have all together? How do you explain this problem to your child so that he can do the next one by himself? We're going to use the really cool idea called thinking blocks. And it will use a structure like this, which is easy to understand. So here's our question. David has 45 marbles. His sister gave him 32 more. How many marbles does he have all together? So David has 45 marbles. Let's make a thinking block for 45. Just an average size block. We don't know if it's going to be the biggest one, the smallest one. And we'll write the number 45 in it. His sister gave him 32 more. So I'm supposed to add that on to the 45. So I make a block there. And they don't have to be the right size or anything. 32. But it's added on. That's important. And now the question asks, how many marbles does he have all together? So where would we put that thinking block? And it's all together, so we put it down here. Now the whole problem is clear. Where do, what do we need to work out? We need to work out the all together. So it is clear that we have to add 45 to 32 to get our answer. So then we write 45 plus 32. It's kind of hard to add in a horizontal, so we do it over here, 45. And 32, 5 and 2 is 7, 4 and 3 is 7, and our answer is David has 77 marbles all together. We can understand the picture, our child can understand the picture, and we can understand how to get to the answer. Let's see another one. Caleb wants to buy a scooter that costs $63. He has saved $38 so far. How much more money does he need? Caleb wants to buy a scooter that costs $63. So we go and we make a thinking block for $63. 63. He has saved $38 so far. So that's part of this. So we go down below this and we say part of our 63 is 38. And then the question is, how much money does Caleb need? So where would that box go? That's how much he needs to get to the 63. So this is the question mark. And now the block is set up, and it's easy for us to see that the answer is 63 minus 38. So we need to find 63 minus 38. We go and we do it on our vertical thing, minus 38. We need to borrow, so this becomes a 5, and this becomes a 13. 13 minus 8 is 5, and 5 minus 3 is 2. And so our answer is Caleb needs $25 more. Again, by drawing the thinking blocks, it's clear what parts we have and what parts we need and what operation to use to get to it. Where did I find this cool method of explaining math problems to my child? At www.thinkingblocks.com. The site is completely free. It's full of practice problems, interactive practice problems, explanations with videos, all free. If you want to take your child directly to interactive problem solving, then add this to the end of thinkingblocks.com. Who am I? I'm Linda Fallbrooks-Janiska at math247.jot.com.